I have chocolate on tap. We've made over £200,000 in one month selling chocolate. And here's how I did it. I wanted to make chocolate with people really wanted to stuff in their faces. If we sell out, today we will make around 15 grand. I get very nervous doing a restock. The fight for chocolate, hopefully. Tonight we'll be restocking about two to 3,000 chocolate bars. We have to make around 1,000 more to hit that mark. I run the chocolate smiths. We make handmade chocolate. Look at the precision. We usually spend around £8,000 on ingredients. So this is the 75 kilo chocolate machine and now we are going to bring the chocolate down to temperature. The next step is to layer these ingredients throughout each chocolate bar mould. We have our mini, mini marshmallows. I am just pouring the bars. Sometimes it does go wrong. We have run out of chocolate a couple of times, which isn't great when you're a chocolate factory. I fell in love with chocolate when I was a child. Eating it all the time. Not, not much has changed, to be honest. They're trying to better make chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? Like, it's delicious. So, just give them a little twist. There we go, and we've got a lovely shiny chocolate bar there. We are now just wrapping the banging bars and we start by foiling them all by hand. Could literally do this in my sleep. I really would love to know how many bars I've wrapped in my lifetime. I'd like to know how many I've eaten. Oh God, I don't, I don't want to know that number. Started the business in my home kitchen, making everything with a microwave and a jug and enough to make 30 bars, which is crazy to think now. I started on Time Mouth Market. It was hard to sell out on the market. The turnover back then, it was really, really small. We're going to make a reel for Instagram. Basically, squirt a load of the sauces into this jar and make it look really delicious. There was a massive turning point in this business. We were minus 15 grand in an overdraft with no savings, but then we started to make online sales through Instagram. I realized there's something in this, let's keep pushing it. We've got like shortbread pieces, brownie pieces, milk chocolate and white chocolate. I'm just gonna sprinkle them into the jar as well. What? Are you gonna eat that? Oh my God, no. I'd want to. Am I allowed to? I think so. Christ. So now I'm just gonna stick a voiceover onto the reel. Today we've made a fill and jar, and oh my God, we've mixed the brownie bar, the apple pie bar, and the clutter bar. And we've got some shortbread pieces, brownie bits, and the chocolate bar itself. Joe Wicks bought from us at Christmas last year. I was like, Joe Wicks has mentioned us guys on the Instagram story. We went from 52,000 followers to 136,000 followers in the space of like 72 hours. A massive hello to all the new followers. We sold out of chocolate and got a ridiculous amount of orders. Six minutes, I'm counting. T minus six minutes. I get very nervous doing a restock. Stock is live now. We should be hearing some pings very soon. <laughs> 539 on the website now. I'm counting. Complaint. One person. This is why I turn notifications off. <laughs> <laughs> the 99s have sold out. People are buying from all over the world, Canada, America, Australia. It's really cool that people like, come on and buy this stuff. <laughs> yeah. So far, we're seven minutes in, we've sold almost 10 grand's worth. But today's restock has been a success. It's amazing to have the support, it really, really is. I can't describe how I feel. We went through so many hard, hard times and I'm in awe of it going so well <laughs> and it's still amazing to me. I'm just gonna continue to be passionate about what I do and I think as long as you've got the passion, that is what really, really matters. I will never, ever, ever get sick of chocolate. Never, it hasn't happened in 10 years, so it's not gonna happen now. I just love it so much.